Hello there, welcome back. In the last course, you learned about the foundational concepts of health data, including what are real-world data and real-world evidence. Now we will expand a bit further into how this data is managed across federated or distributed networks and the benefits of doing this on a large scale. We will also talk about a data model that is making this process more streamlined and easier to use. The things you will learn in this course include what is a federated data network, what is the OMOP common data model, and why are they used. Let's get started. So what is a federated data network? First, what does federated mean? When something is federated, it means that the information about the source is findable and usable, but not moved from its house. One way to think of federation is to use the example of the European Union. Here are many countries or independent parts which remain in their locations and different, but collaborate together in a joint centralized effort, the European Union. The same principle can apply to the way we view data, data sources, and networks. In a federated network, the analysis is shared through a standard interface, but the data stays local at the source of the independent network. When a network is federated, it also means that data is harmonized, and standard protocols can be used to share research and conduct network studies, although they may look different at the source. Other approaches which work differently to federated networks include a centralized approach. Unlike federated networks, in the centralized network, each source must upload their data to a centralized system or house. So what are the advantages of federated data networks? Well, it simplifies sharing and analyzing information, and it removes the need for users to directly access or move data which reduces the challenges with managing security access to multiple systems. These features are important to help maintain data privacy and respect data protection regulations such as the Data Privacy Regulation in Europe known as the GDPR or General Data Protection Regulation. Data privacy is important and we will discuss the GDPR in our next course. Let's move on to what is the OMOP Common Data Model? First, what is OMOP? OMOP stands for the Observational Medical Outcomes Partnership. It is a public-private partnership involving the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, multiple pharmaceutical companies, and healthcare providers, which was created in 2008. The OMOP Common Data Model, or CDM, was initiated in 2009. So where is the OMOP CDM today? Odyssey, the Observational Health Data Sciences and Informatics, carried on the work of OMOP and the development of the OMOP CDM since 2014. Today, the OMOP CDM has been expanded to be applied also in Europe and other regions worldwide. We need this type of model because databases are often designed differently, with a different purpose, different logical organizations, different languages and terminologies, or collected in different ways and in different systems. The OMOP CDM enables us to harmonize, share, analyze, and interpret all this different data using a common structure and language. Source data is mapped to the OMOP CDM in each of the federated network sites, meaning all have a version CDM of their data in the OMOP locally. Standardized analytical tools are then used to remotely analyze the harmonized data in each local OMOP CDM version of sites with relevant data in the federated network. So now you have the benefits of a federated data network and the OMOP common data model. Keep an eye out for the next course that will dive deeper into the GDPR and measures taken to ensure data privacy.